And it's going to be turning up as far as the heat goes even more as we kick off the official summer season. And it's because of a heat dome. Yeah, but what exactly is that? And how is it different from a heat wave? Meteorologist Becca Birdsall breaks it down. It's hot, but not just any kind of hot. Next week, a heat dome is expected to grip the eastern half of the U.S., locking in very hot temperatures and sky-high humidity. Let's start with the basics. A heat wave is a prolonged stretch of unusually hot weather, typically three or more days where temperatures climb to 90 degrees or above. But a heat dome takes things to the next level. It's a large, stubborn area of high pressure in the upper atmosphere that traps heat underneath it like a lid on a boiling pot. The sun keeps heating the ground, but that heat has nowhere to go. It builds day after day. This dome doesn't just crank up the thermostat, it suppresses rain and clouds too. That makes for blazing sunshine and no real relief even overnight. And models show that by early next week, that dome of heat will expand over much of the eastern U.S., including the Carolinas, the Midwest, and parts of the Northeast. Some areas may top out in the upper 90s or higher with heat indices pushing into the triple digits. But it's not just the temperature that will make you sweat, it's the humidity. High dew points will make it feel 10 to 15 degrees hotter than it actually is. So how can you beat the heat? Stay indoors during peak afternoon hours. Drink water even if you're not thirsty. Check on the elderly, children, and pets. And if you have to be outside, take breaks in the shade and know the warning signs of heat-related illnesses. From the Weather Impact Team, I'm meteorologist Becca Birdsaw.